Hey guys, RC here, and we are back in the wasteland. I have not done a Fallout video in quite some time. Uh, actually, hadn't played in probably a year or more, and uh, had some free time recently and wanted to fire it back up, and I've been playing a good bit around my normal channel stuff that I do, and uh, saw that there was a really good mod called Sim Settlements that I had played with back in the day. And King Gath, who is the uh, guy that developed and designed the mod, he has redone the entire mod from the ground up, and it is called Sim Settlements 2, and it is available on the Steam Workshop or through fa the Fallout Nexus uh, and their Vortex updating system or mod system, and you can get it any of those places. So I've played with it for a little while, and I'll be honest, there's so many nuances to this mod that I have no idea how to tweak or finagle most of it, but this one in particular, I wanted to show you just how to get started. So it is recommended you do it with a new game, and we'll go over a couple of things in it. So I have started a brand new game. Uh, so I have just come out of the vault. I have talked to Codsworth. I have killed the uh, the bloat flies uh, in the two houses. And that's where we're at. That's as far as I have gotten. So when you, you know, usually at this point, I come over, I open the workbench and, you know, get the settlement started up. So we're going to start here. This is how you start the Sim Settlement 2 mod. So when you first come over, there's your workshop normally you just open it up but now there is a copy of robco backyard robotics issue number one and we'll pick it up and read it and then take it build your own radio transmitter that's the key and you notice i'm getting some items into my inventory now i don't believe i have gotten a quest and i have not but we are going to come over. We are going to open. We need to open the workshop. There we go. I was just waiting for everything to load in. So it will take a couple of minutes to load in. So just bear with it. Let it do its work. And, you know, you'll see a second ago we only had uh, the basic. And now we have all of my stuff. And I have USO integrated because that's a mod that I have as well. All right, we're just going to come into our regular power mod, power structure, and build a radio settlement beacon. And then we are going to go in and build a generator. You had to scrap a few things, so we'll place that. All right, so we have built it. It's turned on, and all of a sudden this guy comes walking up. That's new, right? So that's all you do to start the mod. You have to wait for it to load up. And I understand I don't have recording turned on. And this guy comes up and talks to you. I heard your radio broadcast sounded as you were starting up some kind of settlement. And you just have a conversation with him. And he gives you, and it doesn't matter which option you choose, he gives you this ASAM sensor. Now, if you played Sim Settlements, the first one, these are your plot building devices. And from this point, it's pretty self-explanatory. It'll walk you through how to set them up. And we're not going to go into all that. I just wanted to show you guys how to get it started. Do this before you go to Concord. Because there's quite a few places that you're going to be going in the early game that he is going to tag along with you in order to expand this quest line. And it's a pretty long quest line. Uh, and basically you can, with this, you, you sit down the plot and basically it does all the settlement building itself. There's different types, residential, commercial. And here's an example, build a two by two residential plot. So we're gonna open our workshop. We're going to back out to the main menu, go to Sim Settlements, and there's your residential plot. Now, where do we want to build that? I don't want to tear anything down just yet because there's an option to assign a mayor. If you build this desk, 
the city planner desk, you can actually assign somebody to it. And when you do, they become the mayor of that city and they handle all the building and they have their own, based on their stats, how they will do it. And you can see we have the HUD to the lower left with the food, water, defenses, power, all that other stuff. And to the top right, you have caps, parts, and uh, you know then the different individual types of things that you will need. So anyway, that's how you get it started. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. There are a couple of glitches in some of the quests that they're not the easiest to uh, figure out. But uh, definitely check out the Sim Settlements forums. And if I come across some more in my playthrough, I may do a quick video on those as well. But how to get started on Sim Settlements 2? This is how you open and start the quest line. And basically, as you do the things, uh, uh, this guy here uh, will be there every step of the way to lead you through it. Just follow his directions and enjoy Sim Settlements too. Hope it helped. Take care, guys. Bye.